when we found out we were coming back here and this was the, the kickoff night of the tour, I got really excited because I just remember Cardiff being like a really lively show um, last time we were here. I remember it being a standout, so I'm happy we're back. I think it's a good place to start it all off. Scott wants to mark the 40th anniversary of jailbreak and, and, and sadly the 30th anniversary of passing of Phil. You know, Lizzie Scott's band, you know, he was there, he, he, he's part of that sound, he's part of that whole legacy and, and you know, he said, you want to come and sing, some, do something Lizzie shows? Oh, who am I going to say no, you know? It was an interesting time for me because I made the transition from just being a, a guy in the back room and all, certainly when we went on TV as pop pop stars on top of the pops and all the rest of it. Um, all of a sudden we were propelled into one of the most um, biggest progressive rock bands of all time. So it was, it was a pretty big transition for me. At the time we toured with Def Leppard, you know, we had a, a top 40 album in America with uh, an album that's called a Bombadog, and that was going very well for us. But of course, Def Leppard were uh, leaps ahead of that, you know, the, the biggest thing since sliced bread in America at the time. So they were the darlings of America at the time. So they were going out selling out, you know, 10, 20,000 seaters every night. And uh, it was a great tour to be on because there was great camaraderie there, which is not always the case with bands, funny enough. But um, with Def Leppard, they were probably the best band we've actually toured with. You have a piece of your heart in each record. This one's my favorite so far. We had the most fun making this record. Typically with Shinedown making records is more like pulling teeth than actually having a good time. Um, this one was different. We actually had a really good time. I can't hide a little help from my friends. I'm gonna try.